everybody. So we are looking at Jesse Hoffy and make sure you go give her a follow because we've got some awesome tropical images and I really, really like this style. What's super awesome is that she has actually sent in one of her images for us to edit. So she has sent in this exact image and that gives us the chance to edit it and try to replicate this style ourselves. So thank you Jess for sending in your photo and you guys can go give her a follow. Her links will be in the description and let's get into Lightroom and see what we can do. Okay, so in Lightroom now, and this is our unedited raw image, and this is our reference final looking image. So what I've already done is crop the image so they're the same size. And what I did is come up here, I chose four by five. So that's what Instagram likes for the size and aspect ratio of the image. Our horizon isn't that straight, so I still need to straighten the horizon. You can use the ruler. I find it not too helpful and you can just enter how much you want to change it here. So by one, it looks pretty good. I might add in a tad bit more, 1.2. I'm happy with that. So our horizon is nice and straight and our images are looking very similar. So now we can go into editing. The first thing I'm gonna do is just bring up the warmth Just a little happy with 7,000. I'm going to bring up the tint a lot. Okay, so that gave us that really nice purple exposure. I'm going to bring up a bit. And I'm going to bring highlights down. Shadows up. And what I want to do, instead of just showing you guys, I want to get a bit better at teaching you guys and explaining the theory a bit more and what exactly each effect does. So hopefully I get a bit better at explaining things. So just dropping the blacks and clarity, I'm just going to bring up a bit sharpens the image a little and moving on to the curve so we've got a real fade going on so I'm going to really bring up the blacks okay so that's the tone curve done and we've kept it pretty straight and then just really brought up the blacks and the shadows creating that nice fade so before we go to colors i'm going to come down enable profile corrections as that brightens up our image and i'm going to do split toning before i get into the colors because split toning affects the colors so much it will throw off what I do in the HSL sometimes. So I'm going to put a lot of purple into the highlights and shadows I'm going to put a lot of blue or greeny blue. And now coming back up to colors I'm going to shift the red towards the purple helping with those purple colors as you can see what that's doing. So hue is the physical color. You are changing the color of a certain color. Oranges towards the reds. Yellows. Greens, there's not many greens in this image. Uh, blues I'm going to shift to the darker side as you can see it only really affects the sky but helps with those purple colors a lot of purple up here so I'm going to shift these bring up 
bringing up these pipples. You can see what that's doing. And magentas. Magenta, not so much of an effect. So saturation, self-explanatory. Bring up those oranges. Drop those greens. We don't have many in this image, but it's pretty common, especially in tropical images, to really drop those greens. Same with the aquas. And the blues. And the magentas. So onto luminance, and this is the brightness of each color. So deepening the reds. And deepening the oranges, so you can see what that is doing. And in effect, it creates more saturation as well, so keep that in mind. Bring up those greens. Pretty much no effect on the greens, but when you're in a tropical setting, because some people might want to make this into a preset, so sometimes you want to edit colors as if they are in the image. So the presets work on multiple images. And I don't know if I would want to save this as a preset anyway, because I've got so many that are just like it. But we'll see how it looks at the end. So, just bringing up a few of these. Bring up, so you can see what that is doing. Bring up the magentas a little. Okay, so that's colors done and we're getting pretty close now. And as you can see, we just don't quite have the detail and the sharpness and the pop. So bringing up the sharpness to about 50. Masking about 50. Hold Alt when you have selected masking and you can see exactly what you're sharpening. So I'm going to leave it about there. Enable profile corrections. So we're about done with the main things and we've gotten pretty close like some people will be very happy with that but there's a few things to take your image to the next level and when you think you've done your editing think about adding in some dynamic lighting so what I'm going to do I can see there's a lot bit, bit darker and a bit more contrast you can see the highlights you can see the shadows and over here the beach just kind of looks a bit flat so I'm going to add in One of these filters and what I'm going to do a bit of exposure a bit of contrast really bringing up the highlights but then really bringing down the shadows. Bringing up the whites. Keeping those blacks down a tad. And, and what you can see that's done is it's just add, added a bit of contrast. We don't have such a plain looking beach anymore. There's a bit of highlights, there's a bit of shadows, and it looks a lot more like this reference image so now as you can see our subject isn't really popping so we really want our subject to pop off the image because that is the main focal point so I'm gonna do a filter around our subject around Jess
and you want it quite small. You don't want to go over the subject too much because then it can become obvious when you brighten it up. So about there and what I'm going to try to do is just really make it pop. So I'm going to be bringing up the exposure, bringing up the contrast. bringing down blacks bit of clarity so it pretty much just sharpens and then bring up sharpness and if we click done I think it's looking a lot better she is much much sharper Right, so now just to, and we're pretty much done, but you just want to think about how you can add a bit more dynamic lighting, some contrast, and doing it by dodging and burning. And this isn't exactly dodging and burning, but pretty much. So we, in this image, those trees are really standing out to me off the background. They're one of the main things going on in this image. And ours look a little flat. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab my brush, brush tool, and I'm going to brush over a few things. So I'm going to brush over these trees, over this rock here. As our rock looks a little faded and a bit plain. And I'm going to brush down here. I want to bring out that light down there. And maybe just a bit more beach. Now if I click down here, I can see everywhere I've brushed. So I might want to bring out the beach up there a bit more. And if I click off this now, I'm going to make some edits. So I want more contrast in these areas. And you can see if I bring up the contrast to 100, you can see those trees and this rock gets a bit darker. Looks a bit better in my opinion. I'm going to bring up the whites. So you can see what that does. I'm going to bring down the blacks. And if you think you've added too much anywhere, click on the erase. And I don't like how dark it's getting back there. So I'm going to actually erase it. And then back to editing. So if I click back on this, I just brighten up a bit of light there. As you can see, it's quite bright there. She might have brushed that a bit. And I just want to darken those trees even more by just brushing over them again just enhances the uh, changes you've already made so as you can see they're getting a bit darker popping off that background really nicely and I might just want to add a bit of contrast in the water here very subtle but as you can see just adding a bit of detail And I'm happy with that. I'm going to leave that there and hope to keep these tutorials short. So that's Lightroom done and I think they look really similar. But there's one thing that is quite obvious that we haven't done and it's the footprints in the sand. And they can be removed by using Photoshop. So if you come up here to help and you type in Photoshop, edit in Adobe Photoshop. Click that. And now we are in Photoshop, so very quickly duplicate your background. And all that it is is using this clone tool here. So we'll zoom in a bit. 
as you can see, opacity 78, flow 100, normal. And all you do is hold Alt, select a bit of sand, and then just click where you want to replace that sand. Just going to do it really quickly and it just makes the beach look extra pristine. And I just did that really quickly. That's that done. So leaving it there. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you go give her a follow. Her links will be in the description. Thanks for watching. Check out my preset pack if you really like these tutorials. And yeah, comment down below what you like about this, what you want to see. Make sure you leave a like. And yeah, thanks for watching.